For about five years now, I've been trying really hard to do a really special conservation project for a bird known as a swift. I've been keeping an eye out for tall buildings in Thanet that have scaffolding up and have the potential to become Thanet and I believe Kent's first entirely artificial swift colony. So what's a swift? Well, it's a bird. It's basically a pair of wings with a little bird in the middle. A swift is a very unique bird. It's the master of our skies. The common swift is one of our iconic migratory visitors. It overwinters in Africa and visits us here to breed in the summer. Swifts spend just three months of the year in Britain, arriving in early May and leaving in early August. They sleep on the wing, mate on the wing, drink on the wing, eat on the wing. They fly non-stop, only ever landing to raise young. Swift really are an incredible bird and installing an entirely artificial swift colony has always been a very ambitious mission of mine. Many places have turned me down over the years, despite the massive potential it has to bring excitement, joy, life, love, education and inspiration. One day my wife noticed that Broadstairs College had scaffolding up on one of its tallest buildings, which is in an area that Swifts regularly visit. So she emailed the college and guess what? Just like that, they said yes. Conservationists in Broadstairs are hoping their new boxes will provide a home for a new colony of the birds and help provide a much needed boost for the endangered species. So here I am today and I've installed seven triple nest boxes. That's given us a total of 21 nest cavities. Artificial colonies are so important because swift are gregarious birds and they're colonial nesters. Swift form faithful pairs and are very loyal to a nest site. They can live up to 20 years. The RSPB have estimated that swift populations have declined by half in just 20 years. And one crucial reason for this is that the older style buildings where swifts like to nest under the eaves are being blocked off by the addition of soffit and fascia boards uh, during renovation work. So where swift colonies have flourished for many years, then buildings are being demolished and recently you know nowadays they're getting replaced by buildings that are totally sealed and do not offer nesting opportunities so here i am about 15 meters up swift like to nest high up they rarely nest lower than four meters when a young swift called a swiftlet leaves this nest it needs to get flight right away so when it leaps from the nest it has a good free fall in order to gain speed because once that swiftlet has left this nest it won't touch down again until it reaches sexual maturity and that is about the age of two years old so yeah that little swiftlet will fly continuously for at least two years if the swift was to hit the ground and not gain flight the odds are against it and we need to try and find them and give them a help before predators find them and um, swift cannot perch they don't have thumbs they'll they're gonna fly straight into these boxes and straight out of the boxes they're not gonna hang around and for this project we've got commercial grade boxes they're made of a high quality magnesium oxide board MGO is environmentally friendly non-hazardous and it produces no fumes and it can actually even be ground down to, to be used as plant fertilizer so it's a nice sustainable product we've got here and we're using galvanized and stainless steel and aluminium fixings to make sure these are secure because once this scaffold comes down no one's going to be able to get up here to get access to these boxes Check that out. I'm just here finishing off the install today and there's some swift circling above me right now. Look at this. Can't wait till they discover these nest boxes. This is a cool unit I've installed. And this is a speaker playing the sound of swift. And that's to, to lure the swift in so they can discover the new nest site. And we're gonna be playing this call from about sunrise till about 9 a.m. and then about 4 p.m. until about sunset to maximize our chances of, of attracting the swift to this new nest site. These boxes are made by a guy called Andrew. Get in touch if you want the contact details. They're brilliant little boxes. So this is it up there. Broadstairs College has Kent's first fully artificial swift colony and I'm really looking forward to seeing it in action and it may take a few years for birds to start using it but it will happen and just check this sign out we've got three of these information boards going up explaining the swift and what we've done so 
it's been brilliant and I want to say a massive thanks to Broadstairs College, um, especially Sarah for being so caring and helping to make this happen. You really have helped something inspirational happen here. Uh, the college really is leading the way. And thanks to the RSPB, Thanet Local Group, for their support and their help with these amazing signs. And um, thanks to Edward Mayer from Swift Conservation for being such an inspiration for helping out these am um, amazing urban birds, the Swift. An exciting project like this on the college will really help shine a light on the whole concept of conservation and the uniqueness of various bird species. In years to come, this is going to be a very exciting place to visit in the summer. Thanks everyone, be wild.